always ready. <laughs> okay, hi. Good morning. I'm sorry we are late because so, uh, the hotel connection is not that good here. Um, good evening to our some participants and good evening Philippines, good afternoon Middle East and good morning here in the US. So guys, welcome to our free live lecture from our um, one of our partners, um, none other than World English Review. Um, let's welcome back Sir DJ. Sir DJ, hi, how are you? Hey, Sir Jeff. Doing good naman po. Okay naman po ako. Uh, as how always. was your holiday? Holiday um, last um, Holy Week. Holy Week? Ah, okay lang. Magbura kayo ba? Ay, hindi. Magbura. Ah, huwag muna. Stay safe lang kami. We're, uh, we're happy okay. enough here. Uh, we have a nice garden. So, yan. Gardening, gardening lang. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, before we start, guys, for those who are watching on Facebook, please tag your friends, okay? Okay, so, Sir Lee Jay, I'll give you the floor now. Okay, Sir Jeff, um, thank you very much. Hi, guys, good evening. Okay, I, I know you don't see me uh, see me much here. <laughs> okay, I, I just, what, I just appear here like twice a month, every first and third, or sorry, second and last uh, Saturday. Right, but also even though uh, I'm not, I guess here that often because of the busy schedule. Okay, I'm gonna make sure na sulit po yung gabi niyo, yung oras niyo. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that your time here is well spent. Okay, and uh, I just ask you to work with me, okay, so that you can get the maximum benefit from this class book. Okay, so guys, I'm here in Pampanga right now. Okay, it's all <laughs> Pampanga, which is which has been all over Facebook for the past uh, couple of days, okay? How about you guys? Nasaan po kayo? Are you, uh, are you in the States like Sir Jeff? Parang eh? naman. Okay, are you here in the Philippines okay. in the very, during these very exciting times? <laughs> are you in the Middle East okay. earning money for your family? So, uh, Saudi Arabia, Pangasinan, uh, I'd love to go back there. Hundred Islands, beautiful. Okay. From Saudi, from Pangasinan. How about the others? Cebu, uh, maayong gabi. Tama ba? Gabi iba o gabi? Gabi i sa inyo tanan? Yeah, I had, a, I had a project there uh, like, yeah, like five years ago. Five or six years ago. Okay. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia also. Okay. Ah, lots of people in the Middle East okay, from Cebu also. Okay, magandang, magandang gabi po sa inyo. Okay, Butuan City. Oh, nice. All over, all over the world, actually. Not just all over the Philippines. Okay, so <clears throat> today's topic, okay, is all about speaking. And I'm going to tell you what examiners look for, all right? Um, it's a mixture of, you know, uh, lessons uh, from my years of experience. Um, I don't, I don't like saying this, but I'm probably one of the, uh, let's not say oldest, uh, most, most senior IELTS teachers in the Philippines. Okay, I've been teaching for more than 16 years. I started in 2005. So what I'm going to tell you from what I learned, okay, from all that experience and also from the official grading system, because of course we need to rely on official documents otherwise hearsay lang yan okay so i'm going to i'm going to show you what examiners look at okay while speaking with you habang kinakausap nila kayo meron pong dinidinig na nakodigo yan i'm going to show it to you tonight and it's public actually it's downloadable i'll tell you i'll even tell you where to download it okay so <clears throat> uh, some rules of conduct for this uh, webinar so just type your questions in the chat box or in the comment box okay uh, sabi dito, we'll be having a Q&A session at the later part of the, pres of the, of the presentation, but you know what? Ah, wag na. Okay, you ask anytime, feel free to interrupt me. Okay, I don't mind anyway, and I think it's better to ask, you know, while the question is still there. So, wala pong problema, magtanong na agad tayo. Next, enjoy the seminar, don't hesitate while it's free, okay? And uh, your host is, uh, again, very experienced, okay? And, uh, we're going to give some information about our review programs later in the session. So, puro learning mo muna. Mamaya na marketing. Okay, because I understand most of you didn't come here for the marketing. 
Okay, you came here to learn. All right, so a uh, short introduction uh, just to make everyone comfortable and to establish, okay? So my name is Lee J. Desus. I'm here in Pampanga. I started teaching in 2005. I teach uh, IELTS, OET. Actually, I love teaching OET. <laughs> I teach English subjects. I teach uh, civil service exam preparation and sometimes no, I do stints in call centers, okay? Uh, call center language training also. Uh, my overall IELTS score is 9. Of course, I didn't start out that way. Okay? Hindi naman pag-exam nung 2 dati, 9 na agad. I started, you know, not at a 9. Okay? I think my first test, what did I get? 2006, band 8. Then it slowly increased. 8, 8.5, and then got 9 uh, in the last two. I'm civil service eligible. Eligible, sorry. Eligible. Just like you guys, I know that... Uh, Dahil nurses po kayo, because you are licensed, you're automatically eligible for civil service, right? I'm not mistaken. That's what I heard. Okay, so congratulations po sa inyo. Hindi niyo na kailangan mag-test. <laughs> and my teaching certification is a CELTA. So uh, Cambridge Certificate in English Language Teaching to Adults. Okay, and this is my favorite qualification. As you can see, I'm not blonde. Well, I have white hair still. I am not blonde. I don't have a British accent. <laughs> but I still got a nine with my voice and all, with this scratchy voice. So I'll point out if I was able to do it, then of course it's possible that you'll also be able to do it because admittedly a lot of my students have better voices than I do. Gaganda ng bosses. Wow. Gaganda ng accent. However, it's not enough to get you a nine. It's a good, uh, it's an advantage. It's beneficial, but it's not everything as you will discover tonight. Okay, so on topic po natin, ulitin ko lang for those who uh, who just entered this. Okay, I am speaking what examiners look for. Now, I have a request kung okay lang po. I'd like to uh, ask you for help. All of the participants here tonight. I'd like you to prepare at least one question okay i want you to prepare the hardest ahils question you've ever seen all right and then i don't know why, why i do this to myself after that uh, later in the session i will answer them on the spot and i will cross my fingers that i don't uh, that i give a good answers but i think i will i got nine twice anyway so guys mag prepare kayo no uh, yung maybe one or two questions, you know, so some really difficult IELTS questions that are that you don't know how to answer, maybe, or you don't know how to answer, you know, uh, uh, to a good degree. And I will help you come up with an answer. Okay, one each long I think that's not too much. Right? Okay, but I don't. Yes, you type okay in the chat box. Kung gusto niyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so prepare you now because uh, yeah, I want to I want to answer questions that you're interested in. Uh, I only feel it say right, especially those who've taken the uh, the IELTS exam before. Okay. If you can share the questions that you've gotten, yeah, I can give you some uh, some model answers. All right. So let me share this one. This what you see on screen. Is the official grading system. The examiner actually has a copy of this okay, in front of him or her when they're talking to you and they constantly refer to this one. Lalo na po yung mga examiners. Okay? And this is all there is. Although I'm going to add a few things okay, that I've observed in, you know, in my years of teaching. Okay, so medyo malit. So uh, don't worry, I'm going to zoom in. So there are only four things that they look for. Apat lang po yan. Okay, fluency and coherence, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy, and pronunciation block. So let's zoom in. Guys, a piece of advice. Make sure okay, that when you get assessed by a teacher or by a coach, they tell you individually what their what the range is. Um, Non-IELTS examiners are not supposed to give you give you exact scores, okay? Pero hindi naman po masama magtanong ng range because 
sinusundan naman natin yung description. Because if the uh, if your coach just tells you, ah, bandang 7 ka, bitch, or bandang 6 ka, bro, okay, then that's not good enough. They should tell the individual, what's your weakest area? Are you weakest in pronunciation? What's your strongest? Are you strongest in grammar? Tansya na ano yung grammar mo? 7 to 8 or 6 to 7? Okay, how about your fluency and coherence? Because in that way, you will know what to target. All right? So, tignan po natin isa isa. And again, don't be, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Please ask any isa. So, ooh, nice drawing. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll remove that. Okay, tanggalin muna natin yung drawing sa screen. There you go. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the first one. Fluency and coherence is 25% of your score. Okay, shown here. Okay, now most of you, kailangan nyo seven. Oh, anybody in the audience who needs an eight? May nag-require ba ng eight sa inyo? Because for nurses, it's usually seven. So who requires an eight? Anyone? Meron po ba? Okay, mukhang ano ah, mukhang wala naman. Alright, good. So, since wala namang 8, let's start with, you know, your minimum requirement. Yeah, because not many people, some people fail to get this one. So, ano pang hinahanap ng exam? What do they look for? There are three bullet points here. Okay, and let's start with the first one. Ito po yun. So, sabi niya dito, speaks at length without notice about effort or loss of coherence. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin niya? What does that mean? It means you cannot give short answers. All right. In real life, then we always do that. We say, ah, oh, yeah, no. But you cannot do that in the IELTS test because this is a speaking exam. So they have to see, okay, if you can speak, uh, you know, if you can speak more. So in the pretty, Mike yung sagot nyo. In fact, you should never answer with one sentence. The only time that you should answer that you can answer with one sentence is when they ask your name. Can you please state your name? Just say your name. That's it. Okay, uh, a lot of people, uh, they go to tunga nila yan na, and my friends call me ganito, or you can call me ganyan. You can also do that if you want. It's not a requirement. If you, if you just want to say your full name, full name lang po. Okay? After that one, okay, sabi niya, speaks at length, di ba? You should also be able to speak at length without noticeable effort. Yeah. Ano bang ibig sabihin nun? Mahaba yung sagot yun. Okay, but show them that you are really having a hard time to do that. You are struggling because some people can give long answers, okay, but you can really see the struggle in their faces. Kailangan po effort na siya. Sir, how will I do that? It's really hard for me. Yeah, anything is difficult if you, know, if you don't do it uh, that much, if you don't do it that often. Okay, ang susi lang dyan is you get comfortable through repetition, repeat, 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 do it every day. It's just like exercise. You do it intermittently, then it hurts the next day. But if you're always, you know, if you always do it, if you do it regularly, then you come to appreciate those sensations. Kumbaga. Okay. So I want to show you. Okay. Uh, right now, can I do that one? Oh, maybe I'm gonna do that later. Okay, because I'm gonna give you some pre-assessment. So anyway. Never give short answers. If you want some guidelines, it will work. For part one of speaking, you can write this down. For part one of speaking, try to aim for at least two, maybe three sentences. Okay, two to three sentences. That would be okay. Lalo na kung ban seven na target. Of course, if you have a higher score, try to push it a little bit more. But two to three sentences, huh? perfect na yan. Okay? And then for part two, Make sure that you reach the two-minute mark. All right? I think uh, most of you uh, in this group, alam nyo na yung format of speaking. Remember, in part two of speaking, they will give you a set of questions and you will have one minute to think about your answer. They will provide a scratch paper for you and a pen or a pencil so that you can make notes. You have one minute to make notes and then they will listen to you for two minutes. Some people have a hard time reaching the two minutes. Okay, but if you want a seven, hindi naman talaga kailangan ng two minutes. You know, if your answer is good quality, you can actually get seven, what, with one and a half or one minute and 45 seconds. I have students 
uh, who got in like seven, even though they only spoke for like a minute and 30, okay? One minute and a half. But of course, if you can speak longer than that, eh, mas maganda. Okay? So, speaks at length, next, without noticeable effort. And the next condition is this. You can speak at length without loss of coherence. All right? Because if you give a long answer, but you're not answering the question anymore, then, you know, that's not a, that's not a seven. It's probably a six or lower. Okay, so later when you when you submit to me your questions, I'm gonna show you some examples of this. Now, some people ask, sir, I have a lot of wounds. Um, uh, you know, uh, is that okay? Yeah, for band seven, why? It says, may demonstrate language related hesitation at times or some repetition and or some self correction. Oh, look, oh, hey, man, why? Nah. You're not aiming for a nine, right? Of course, everybody wants a nine, but honestly, okay, na sa tin So if you have those things, the key is don't worry too much about them because even native speakers, they have, you know, they have those hesitations. Didn't they? In fact, they might have more. They have more, but you know, they say them so well, hindi natin nata. Marami din naman you know yung mga yan. Eh. So what's important is. If you hesitate, just make, you know, don't make a big deal out of it, okay? Don't make it seem more serious than it is. Now, approach the test with good humor, okay? So, I know a lot of people are very nervous, but you know, just take it in stride, okay? Next, third bullet point. Use a range of connectives and discourse markers with some flexibility. Ano ba itong mga connectives and discourse markers? Okay? Um, some examples, when you're giving your opinion, in my opinion, as I see it, I believe, and for me, the way I see it, I am Paul. Okay? When you are, what, uh, when you're going to say the opposite, okay, of what you previously said, you can use uh, terms like, on the other hand, meanwhile, however, okay, sana po ginagamit nyo, these things are not only for writing. I know you use them for writing. But one easy way of improving your speaking, and I say it's easy because you can memorize these things, is by using more of these connectors. And, you know, here's the proof. There you go. It's in the official document. Use as a range of connectives and discourse markers. Now, what does it mean when the IL says use as a range? Ibig sabihin niya na ulit Okay? It means that don't overuse your connectives. Because if you keep on saying, uh, first of all, Blah, blah, blah. Next question. Oh, I have two ideas. First of all, and then part three. Oh, first of all, if you keep on doing that, it's going to be very noticeable. And the examiner will say that, oh, that's memorized language. Okay? Because that's all you can, you cannot, you know, you can't show me variety. Ah, sorry about that. Okay? So please use a range of connected. So naman ulit to them. And please practice saying them. Just because you watch somebody say them doesn't mean you'll be able to. But kailangan mo. Repetition, application, kailangan po ng practice. Okay? Um, for those who just recently entered, pwede pong magtanong in time. Okay? If, I did, if I said something that's not very clear, or if you want clarification, sige lang po, ask right away. No need to wait until the end of the, of the session. Right? So that is fluency and coherence. And this is something that you should work on. Just to summarize, ano bang ibig sabihin ng fluency? Fluency means you're giving longer answers, okay? And you look comfortable doing it. And coherence means your answers make sense. You are actually answering the question. Why? There are some candidates, okay, who try to extend their answers, but they do it the wrong way. They give very incorrect answers. In Filipino, and daming paligoy-ligoy before they arrived at the correct one. It's always good to give a direct answer and then just explain it afterwards. Okay, because I've, I've interviewed people asking them, okay, so what is your favorite sport? And then they would say, oh, you know, um, ever since I was young, I was very sickly and sports wasn't really in my blood. But when I grew up, I got a little bit stronger and my asthma disappeared and then blah, 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 blah. blah. And I've been waiting. Okay, 
for 15, 20 seconds, they still haven't answered the question. Meron ba kayong mga friends na yun? Nakirap tanungin. Ang dami mo nang dinadaanin. Uh, I used to be like that, lalo na nung college. Pero, you know, thanks to IELTS, I learned how to answer more directly. Okay, mas madali nga naman yun. So that's fluency and coherence. Right? The next 25% comes from lexical resource. Tingnan natin, syempre yung band na yung uh, full flexibility and precision. Oh, may hirap yan. Uses idiomatic language naturally and accurately. So guys, ah, just because you use the video doesn't mean matas na yung grade mo. You have to use it in a natural way. Hindi dapat force. I teach a lot of Korean students and uh, sila, ano, uh, you, you can really notice it uh, because when they use idioms, they really sound memorized. I keep on telling them not to do that that much. Anyway, so how about the band seven? Dito po, lexical resource. Band seven. There are so many things to talk about here. So let's start with the first bullet point. Sabi niya, uses vocabulary resource flexibly to discuss a variety of topics. Ano lang ibig sabihin yan? Don't give short answers. Show them that you know a lot of words. Para lang madali. Let's not make this too technical. Madaliin lang natin. It does, IELTS doesn't need to be difficult, right? Next bullet point, uses some less common and idiomatic vocabulary and shows some awareness of style and collocation with some inappropriate choices. Now, some people, some candidates get worried when they hear this because they say, oh my God, I did some research and according to, according to a lot of experts, the only way to learn idiomatic language is to live in an English-speaking country. Yeah, it's an advantage, but it's not the end. I, I, I've, I've lived in the Philippines all my life. I don't really, I didn't grow up in an English-speaking household, pero nakuha pa rin naman. Because you know what? Most people don't realize that it's really quite difficult to avoid using idiomatic language. You're probably doing it right now if you're talking to someone. Okay, studies show that most native speakers, they use idiomatic language every second sentence. So, bawat dalawang sentence nila may idiomatic language. Okay? Same with Filipinos because English is full of them. So, you don't even need to force it. Okay? You're probably doing it without you realizing. So, chill lang kayo. Huwag kayong masyadong, ano, huwag kayong masyadong kaban. Anyway, when you practice with a good teacher, they will suggest some idioms and phrases that you can use. Okay, to show off. Pero kailangan lang po sakto sa topic because if you force it, instead of giving a 7, that will pull your score down to a 6. So make sure that you know how to use these things and phrases that you're learning. Okay? So pangaralan niyo mabuti. And then, I think most important para sa akin, no? from experience, I think this is uh, what I need to point out to you. Guys, paraphrasing has such an important place in the IELTS test. For both, well, uh, writing, speaking, pero importante din siya sa listening chat, sa reading po. Let's take a look at band 7. It says, uses paraphrase effectively. Band 8, uses paraphrase effectively as required. Band 6, attempts to use paraphrase but will make success. Band 5, rarely attempts paraphrase. Okay? So let me ask you, ano yung kaibahan ng ano? Anong kaiba ng band 5 sa band 6? Hmm. Look at these descriptions. Yeah. Because if you if you know this, oh man, ang dali nang iwasan. So, a band 5, okay? A band 5 Rarely attempts paraphrase. Anong ibig sabihin? They just keep on using the same words okay, used by the examiner. They don't even try. They don't make an attempt. Yung naman kung band 6 tries to paraphrase, sumaply. Konti. Okay, hindi naman perfect. Ito, pero at least not try. What you need to know about the IELTS is what the examiners are looking for okay, is that you try. Subukan nyo man lang. You get rewarded for trying. Right? Because sometimes we're so afraid of failing that we don't even try. And then, may reward po ng examiners 
kapag sinubukan mo. So just do it your best. Try it. If you make a mistake, then okay lang. Na other opportunities. Okay? It's not over until, you know, until it's over. Okay? Pero ang gusto niyo ng seven, you have to show them that in general, you can paraphrase successfully. It means sensible pa rin yung paraphrase mo. Because sometimes when people paraphrase, it doesn't make sense anymore. Okay? Hopefully, I'll be able to show you some examples of that. Okay, next category po. Okay. The examiner will judge your grammatical range accuracy. Let's have a look at Benson. It says, uses a range of complex structures with some flexibility. Okay, ano kayong complex structures? Then guys, ano bang yung sentences? Yeah, okay, you remember the basic uh, sentences? The simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, and compound complex. Okay, if you want to avoid getting a band five in grammar, you avoid using simple sentences. Yung mga maikling sentence, one subject, one predicate. Okay, try to use complex or compound Complex, say, sir, paano yan? Nakaralin pa namin yan. Oh, wait up. You can learn that in five minutes if you really want to. There are so many resources nowadays. Okay, and also, okay, bukod pa doon, you're probably you, no, not probably, you are. You are already using them. Hindi nyo lang nare-realize. Hindi nyo lang alam yung pangalan. But if you're giving long sentences, if you follow up, if you're saying blah, 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 because, blah, 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 due to the fact, then, that's probably complex. Right? So, sekreto lang siya. Hindi na. May game ng short answer. Okay? Ang gusto nila sa IELTS, madaldal. Okay? So, even though it's not your person, personality, you can always pretend. Okay? Just convince yourself na madaldal ka just for that test. Say it's for the future. Kailangan yung bumasa. Okay? Second bullet point. It says, frequently produces error-free sentences, though some grammatical mistakes persist. Okay, which is some good, you know, that's good news for us. Para, ibig sabihin po, okay, kadalasan daw, wala namang mistakes yung grammar niya. Kadalasan. Okay, pabinsan-minsan. Pero, hey, sir, how will I improve that ever since elementary my analysis of grammar? First of all, you don't need perfect grammar. Unless you're being how about, how about nine? Is nine perfect? Iman nga natin yung band score nine. Ito, band score nine. Grammatical range. Sabi niya, produces consistently accurate, accurate structures apart from slips characteristic of native speaker speech. Ah, so you're allowed slips. Okay? So if you just make a mistake or two, then you can still get the band. I like, know oh, in my last test, I actually know that I made like two mistakes there. Hindi ko na lang binawi. I just continued with my explanation. And you know what? They still gave me a 9 last year. I did 29. Okay? Kasi nga, hindi naman kailangan, ano mo, perfect. If you have like one or two mistakes, pwede na yan. Pagbibigyan nila na yan. As, as long as your mistake is quite simple. As long as it's not glaring. Okay? So ano ba yung perfect band 10? <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no band. Yan. How about pronunciation? Ooh, favorite okay. pronunciation. Let's take a look at the very nice description. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm being sarcastic. Okay, shows all the positive features of band six and some, but not all, of the positive features of band eight. What does that mean? I know I don't like this one. It means okay, you're more than a six. But you're not an eight. Okay, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty useless. So, uh, for you to know what to do, put the ties of an eight. Because it's useless. To ano? It's a useless description. Let's go here. How about an eight? The first thing that you notice, first bullet point, as I said, uses a wide range of pronunciation features. Okay, what are these pronunciation features? I don't know the sounds. The sounds in English. Okay, your phonetics. No? Yan. O yung mga sure sounds niya, yung mga basic vowel sounds, consonant sounds, A, E, I, O, U. Okay, yung mga L, U, U, yung mga ganyan. The ch, ch, da. 
in short the sounds. Sir, how would be how will be able to do this? Can you use as a wide range of pronunciation uh, features? Madali lang po. It's not that hard. Don't be intimidated. Okay? Just make sure you don't give short answers. Just by doing that, you can already you can already fulfill this condition. So wag na wag magbibigay ng my king sa Try to explain as much as possible. In fact, okay, it's better if the exam. Some of my students, la la, but sir, you know, I really, I, I didn't enjoy the conversation with my exam because he kept on cutting me off. Guys, don't take it personally. Okay, why? Examiners are under time pressure. They cannot take their sweet time. They have to finish before 14 minutes. Hindi po aabot ng 15 minutes. Hindi aabot ng 15 minutes yung interview. Maximum na 14 minutes. And in fact, most examiners finish it at around 13 and a half. So, if they seem to be hurrying, first of all, don't take it personally. Trabaho lang yan. Okay? Secondly, maybe they try to save you from making a mistake. Because, they, you know, these examiners don't matter. They're really smart people, diba? Okay, they have a lot of qualifications. That's why they're examiners. Okay? So, they can probably predict, okay, your language. So, maybe they're cutting you off, okay? Not because they're not interested, because maybe they want to help you. Okay, let's be positive about that one. Okay, examiners are not the enemy. Okay? So, uses a wide range of pronunciation. Next bullet point. Sustains flexible use of features with only facial lapses. So if you can prove, if you can show the exam that you know how to pronounce a word and then you make a mistake or two, mm -hmm. tapos nakabalik ka afterwards, again, you were pronouncing it uh, correctly, then don't worry. Why? You can still get an 8 on that one. Kasi sabi naman niya, occasional lapses are allowed. Okay, next. Uh, oh, this is, uh, I think, this is the most important one. This is my favorite. You know. Third bullet point says, it's easy to understand throughout. And one accent has minimal effect on intention. Sabi, madaling intindihin sa buong interview. If the examiner didn't have a hard time listening to you at the beginning when you said your name and when you answered the basic questions, they did not have a hard time listening to you when you were doing the monologue, you know, two minutes on your own, monologue. And okay, they were able to easily understand what you were saying during the complex questions in part three. Okay. Ano din yung ibig sabihin ito? It means don't whisper. It's not ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> May mga ganong ano, di ba, YouTube videos. Okay. Don't whisper. Make sure that you speak loudly enough so that the examiner can hear you loud and clear. Oh, a nice collocation. Loud and clear. Okay. Also, don't eat your words. Um, meron po ba tayo audience a speech impediment or somebody who has really large braces giving them a hard time to speak? Meron po ba naka braces dyan? Okay, parang dam tayo. Mm -hmm. No one? Di na uso? Guys, if your braces are, you know, are what? Are giving you some difficulty in speaking, advice ko, paano nyo na muna? Patanggal nyo na muna. Okay? Because uh, you want to be at your best. You want to be able to answer all of these. Okay? So, Please make sure that you're easy to understand. Don't eat your word. Don't speak like this. Open your, some people actually speak like this. Open your mouth. Okay? Buksan niyo po yung bibig niyo. Second condition, bukod sa easy to understand. Your L1 accent has minimal effect on intelligibility. What is L1 accent? L1 is your first language. Okay? So, if you're speaking English and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't sound um, that good because 
it sounds like Kapampangan English or it sounds like Batanggenyo English, it sounds like Ilocante English, it sounds like Bisaya English or any other ethnic group here in the Philippines. If it sounds like you're a Korean trying to speak English or a German trying to speak English, then unfortunately it's going to be hard to get a good score. Okay, you don't need an accent. No, you don't need to speak like a what, like an Aussie, like an American. You don't need to speak like an Englishman. If you do, make sure that you can sustain it. Okay, kailangan yun lang po neutral. You need to neutralize. Okay, you need to neutralize your accent. Okay, if you speak like that, na wala mayroon mga seven, probably get six or lower for that. Okay. So yeah, if you speak like an, you know, a native Arab, trying to speak English, then it might affect the way that you speak. Okay, it might, sorry, it might affect, yeah, it will affect your speaking score. Okay, so how will you know? It's easy, you know, get your phone, get your phone. Record yourself answering some questions, record yourself speaking, and then let someone else hear it. Okay, paula nyo, where does it sound like a native English speaker? Where do you think does the speaker come from? Uh, ask it, ask another thing on so that they can easily identify it. Okay? If they cannot identify it, then good, you're on. Alright? Pero pag sinabi, ay, ano, tagapampanga to. Okay, tagapampanga, because uh, sabi niya, sir, sir. And sabi niya, pidabit. Ah, okay, pampanga to. Ano, if they can easily identify <laughs> from which region you are in the Philippines or from which country that's not uh, native English speaking, okay, then you might be in a little bit of trouble. But the good news is you can always fix that because pronunciation is one of the easiest areas to fix. Okay? So yun po ibig sabihin. L1 accent has minimal effect on intelligibility. And that's what the examiners look for. Okay? And this is what they are tested on. When they apply as examiners after training, they have, of course, qualification tests, calibration tests, and this is the reference. And I don't know why a lot of candidates don't have this. You should have a copy of this. All right? Uh, you can go to IELTS.org to download this, or just go to Google, type nyo lang, IELTS. Speaking descriptors, okay, and meron din po sa writing, so IELTS writing descriptors, so that you know exactly what they're looking for. Let me just warn you though, the language is a little bit, you know, technical. It's for uh, language professionals usually, so para hindi niya interpret Just ask a good teacher, okay? An experienced teacher will will be able to tell you what these things mean, okay? So my questions, Paul, so far about the about the speaking test. May tanong po ba kayo? Please turn on your mics or you no. Know, if you want to type, okay lang. If you want to turn on your microphone, and ask directly. Okay lang din po. Questions? Kung wala, I'd like to show you okay, my speaking test. So I memorized my questions. So this one, okay, was from 2019. I got a nine on this text. You can take a screenshot if you want. You can take a photo. Is it possible that you will get the same questions? Yes, Paul, definitely. Yeah. So these were my exam questions in 2019. As you can see, it's divided into three parts. So you have part one, the introduction, Will last like five six minutes okay and then you have your long term okay for part two ito yung part that they will uh give you one minute to think they will give you one minute to prepare and then pakikinggan kanila for two minutes you can make notes you should look at those notes okay during the two minutes sir ah uh, some teachers tell me eye contact is important not really. It's not in the grading system. Of course, it's nice to make contact, eye contact, when they ask you your name, okay? When they address you directly. But you know what? Technically, okay, theoretically, 
you can get a band score 9 in the speaking test without even looking once at the exam. You're going to lose clues to us. You know, most of the time, human beings, we give clues about what we're saying dito sa mukha natin. Okay? You can read people's reactions. You can catch their drift if only you're sensitive to these things. Okay? Mga expressions, mga movements. So that was my long term. And then part three, if you notice, these are related to so part two. Okay? Related to part two. Pero um, they will force you to answer in more detail. These questions are much more complex. Yung part two natin, talk about an intelligent person that you know. Okay? Sir, kailangan ba famous person? Kailangan ba si Albert Einstein? Well, it's easier to do it that way. But you can also say that, you know, your dad, you know, your grandfather, your husband, your wife. However, just make sure that you can prove that they're intelligent. Okay? Because, you know, this is a language test. I know there are different kinds of intelligences. Okay? But what kind of intelligence is the examiner talking about? Okay? Don't you sagot it. Oh, for me, he's intelligent because he's rich. Really? Are all rich people considered intelligent? They know how to make money. But according to the classical definition of intelligence, baka hindi rin fit yun. Okay? So just make sure if it's someone that's unknown that you can really prove their smartness. Maybe they received like awards okay, from university or recognized. Maybe they won a very difficult competition, a contest, an intelligence contest. Right? So anyway, tingnan natin yung part three. How are intelligent people viewed in your society? Okay? Is it better to be intelligent or to be rich? You know what Koreans always say to this one? Mas madalas nilang pinipili yung rich. Yung rich. I think Filipinos would probably choose intelligence. Can I, can I take a survey, guys? If they ask you in the IELTS test, anong pipili? Which one would you choose? To be intelligent or to be rich? Okay? No need to explain. Just you know, type it, uh, just type it in the chat box, intelligent or rich. You know what my foreign students always tell me? Sabi na, eh, better to be rich because when, when you already have money, what's the point of being intelligent? You don't need to work anymore. But expect the examiner to dispute that. Huh? Guys, you know, one of the signs that you're doing well, oh, sabi ko na, Filipinos, eh, one of the intelligent. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Who does it, right? Because if you're intelligent, you can always find ways to make money. I mean, Bill Gates did it. Well, actually, they were rich. <laughs> That's why he was able to go to that school. Okay, but I mean, because, he, uh, because of his smarts, he became one of the richest people in the world in the past decade. Okay, the, uh, in the past few decades. Okay, how about uh, Elon Musk? He actually lost money. He went back. But because he's so smart now, he's lagi lang sila ng papalitan, Jeff Bezos, right? Okay. So, anyway, one of the signs that you're doing is when the examiner starts arguing with you. Pag sinabi na nila na, oh, you know what? I don't agree. O kaya, oh, but some people think like this, don't you think? Or... I don't think so. I think that's not a good point of view. Pag ginanon kayo, please don't take it personally. <laughs> One of your personal yung Yung iba na iyang babat. They're just testing if you know how to use language to explain. Sir, okay ba? Palitan mo yung one. Can I change my answer? If you change your answer, the exam will also switch. So switch lang yan and you know, you're, you're just gonna go around in circles. Diba? So stick to your guns. Oy, idiom. Stick to your guns. Stick to your answer. We usually say stick to your answer but idiomatically, uh, stick to your guns. Just stick to your guns and just explain why that is your opinion. Pero bago niyo sabihin yun ito mo. Okay? When the examiner argues with you. You start it with something like this. Oh, you know, you have a point there. But, in my opinion, it's like this. Okay? And guys, use your face. A lot of people, hindi nila ginagamit to. 
Because communication, not only speaking, it's not just the words. The words are just 30% of the message. Okay? Majority of the message nagagali with how you say it, the speed, the tone. Okay? And also, yung tinatawag nila yung paralinguistics. Okay? Yung mga body language, facial expressions. Minsan kasi, <laughs> minsan kasi, you know, um, my first exam in 2006, I was wearing a necktie. Okay? Tapos naka long sleeves ako. Tapos this is how I sat. And ito. Okay, and I was very serious in answering because I was trying to go back. Ano na ako ako? My lowest grade in speaking, 2006. First attempt. Okay, so I'm not some sort of genius na first attempt pa lang, nine na. Although masarap sana yun. But I'm just like, oh, I didn't start at the perfect. So I, I worked on it. Okay, pinag-iraban ko yan. Masarap yung pinag Okay, because you know that you deserve it. So, 7.5 because of this. Yeah, it might sound, oh, pwede na yan, sir. Yeah, but, you know, not for a teacher. Okay, for a candidate or, you know, professionals like you, yun yung minimum ninyo. But if you're teaching IELTS, ano man, you should at least be 8. So I worked hard on it. You know what? I got 9, 2019, 2021. Ito. Okay, one of those times, 2019 yata, ito yung so It was nicer. I should do mana siya ngayon, pero sabi ko parin siya. Nakanayin ako dito. I was wearing this. <laughs> oh, short sleeve lang to. And then, instead of doing this, sandak, I relaxed. And then I let my face do the talking and then I was doing this. Yeah, on one hand, it's good because of this, this, and this. On the other hand, it can be problematic for some. So, gumaganun ganun ako. Boom. Nine. Okay? Pero malay natin. I was wondering, sinwerte lang ba ako? Okay, talaga bang effective yun or, you know, did it just suit that specific exam? So I tried again last year and I did the same thing, different examiner, a younger examiner, female, uh, in, uh, now not this. I, the, the new British Council, ano, the new British Council uh, office at the curve and sa the game. Okay, different examiner, gave me a nine also. Okay, despite the voice. All right? So, Hindi niyo kailangan magpakasirin. So, you don't need to be too formal. In fact, they will, you know, they will be more impressed if you seem, if you seem comfortable in your own skin. I have a friend who took the test okay, with me, actually. Okay? He was wearing, like, hip hop, you know, he was wearing a cap. Of course, he removed it. Pero yung t-shirt niya, malaki, a white t-shirt, okay, Nike. Then he was wearing the you know, the baggy shorts. They were very popular during my younger days. That whole time ago. Sneakers. That's it. You know? I'm boy she, you know, he was here for a vacation. The test. Of course he got nine. I got seven point one. I was wearing a neck. He got nine. Okay, and he wasn't very serious about tawa tawa nation. So ginaya ko lang siya. Okay. Guys, relax because when you're too serious, you won't be able to bring out the best of your abilities. Para martial arts lang, para basketball lang, tanong din mo. Para growing din kailangan relax kayo, kailangan to flow. All right. So this is an exam of an actual exam. I memorize it. You're welcome to take a picture. You're welcome to practice on it. So what would you say to the examiner? Some reminders. No. Part one. Try to answer those with. Two or three sentences, never one sentence. All right. For part three, on discussion, you need longer answers. I'd recommend at least four, not huh? four to five. Yeah. Sir, we did six. Oh, man, did even do it? It's actually better if the examiner interrupts you rather than you stopping. Okay? And by the way, please don't say this. I don't like hearing this. Ah, blah 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 blah. Ah, that's it. Please, lang po. Don't say that. Or Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I have nothing more to say. Or blah, 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 blah. I'm done. Please don't say that. The examiner will decide whether it's okay to stop or not. You will know when they interrupt. So, wag po kayo magpapang intimidate siya. Okay? All right? One final thing before we go to the exercises. One final thing. Okay? What do examiners look for? I know that technically, this is just a language test. 
Okay? Pero, oh, and from experience and from what I've heard speaking with IELTS experts, yun yung tawag sa kanila. Okay? They also look for intelligent answers. Okay? They look for smart ideas. Okay? Hindi porgi, oh yeah, maganda yung English. Okay, but you know, you also need to give uh, great ideas because sometimes it can be very tiring interviewing like 20 people in a day, giving the same answers over and over and over. What are the advantages of being famous? Ah, sir, money. Puro ganun yung salot eh. What are the disadvantages? Ah, no privacy. Puro ganun. Wala pang iba. So you know what? I think you have, you know, brainstorming sessions with here in IFNG. Maybe, you know, yeah, come up with some generic answers. Pero minsan-minsan, can you also try to come up with something out of the box? Something that's a little bit different so that you, it will be easier for you to impress yourself. All right? Okay, so give smart answers. Okay? So for the next part, okay, um, for those people who just came in, I see uh, some new people on the list. I made this off earlier at the beginning of the session, okay? Because I like giving myself a hard time. You can ask, okay, one or two, again, one or two questions. Uh, questions that you find difficult, questions that you find challenging. It can be from part one, from part two, or from part three. Walang problema, okay? I'm not gonna choose, you choose. And I will show you some low level answers and some high level answers in fact if you also want to show me your answer sir okay ba ito nasagot eh, eh, kundi kayo nahiya kundi kayo mahiya eh, I will also give you okay so let me stop sharing my screen ayan po ah dami na pala natin ah sige po so just send me uh, just send me the message here in the chat box and how about uh, sir so admins of IFNG how about the people of live streamers, uh, Facebook or YouTube? How do we get their questions? Maybe, guys, if you're not here in the meeting room, you can transfer over so we can uh, talk more directly. Okay, I love, I like giving personalized service instead of a generic lecture. Okay, para po mas madali din for the end. So, sige, I'm just gonna wait for your questions. Time check, it's past... Uh, but it's 10 08, so I have uh, like half an hour more. So you bought. I'll try to another uh, input, sir. Yung mga questions sa FB, they can oh, just, um, transfer. I'll just uh, no, copy and paste yeah. it in our Zoom. Yes, again, and to make things easier for you guys, I prepared the document, which I can share with you later. Yes, yeah. yep. Okay, so just uh, send me the question to the chat box and I'll just transfer them here. And I'll give you a copy para for your perusa, for your review. So, habang nagtatype yung iba while you're searching, ngayon <laughs> palang nagsasearch, while you're looking for questions from the internet or from your memory, okay? I'm going to ask you a few things just to test kung nagets talaga nyo. Okay? Just to test if you really understood. Okay? Because remember, just listening to something doesn't guarantee that you understood it. Sakit ngayon yung mga tao yun. And this is actually a malay. This is an illness in modern society and in, an information illness if there's such a thing. Okay? A lot of people have access to unlimited information. Okay? YouTube. Yan. Mga websites. Mga apps. And then they think that they understand everything. Okay? Don't fall into that trap, no matter how smart you are. Okay? So what's the key here? The key is to test. So I am going to ask you a very simple question first. Okay? You can type your answer. All right? Type nyo na lang. Send it to me. Testing in natin. Uh -huh. How about this very easy question. How would you answer this? Yeah. Napakadali lang, no? This is a part one question. So, would you like to answer? Would you like to try? So, 
send it to me privately if you don't want your name mentioned. Okay, send it in the chat box. DM me, direct message. You know, okay? choose my name before you hit enter. Yeah. But if it's okay with you, you can also share it with me. So how often do you look at the sky? Naiya pa kayo. Sige. Oh, guys, I, I didn't mean send me your answer you know, on Facebook, on my messenger. No, dito lang po sa, dito lang po sa Zoom. <laughs> Message me doon. Oh, yes. I'm looking at one answer here. Okay. No names. Don't worry. I won't mention names. So I'm going to show it to you now. So, sabi ng isang classmate niyo. I enjoy staring at the sky every day, usually. Okay. After work. So, how can we make this uh, answer better? So, nagyan natin ng kama after every day. Because we added, you know, you added one whole clause there at the end. Kasi kompleto na yung ano eh. I enjoy staring at the sky every day. Okay, pero dinagdagan niya ng usually after work. Oh man, that takes it a complex sentence. Might be lang, pero complex. That's a nice start. However, what's the weakness of this answer? Kulang sa haba, di ba? Sabi niya, okay, okay, speaks at length. Kailangan mahaba yung sabot. So do you remember what I said? Two to three sentences. This is a part one. So, kailangan pang tagdagan niya. Okay? So, I enjoy uh, staring at the sky every day, usually after work. So, could be better. Maybe add something more. Tagdagan pa natin ng kode. Secondly, some of the word choice might be might be too much. Kasi, paano po ba yung, paano po ba yung looking? Ganito yung looking, di ba? Laking ako. Yeah, looking, diba? Staring is like this. Diba? Pag sinabi mong stare, para hindi ka kumukurapin, it's very direct. It's like that. Okay? So, baka ano, sobra na siya, hindi na siya appropriate. Okay? Also, is there any other word that you can use for the sky? Can you answer this question without mentioning sky or, you know, by using maybe a synonym or a paraphrase? Okay, so try kung ano, ha? let me try to improve this one for you, ma'am. Okay. Sabi niya, I enjoy staring at the sky every day, usually after work. But it doesn't happen. Okay. Uh, you can say, give a direct answer. Okay. Oh, you can say, I enjoy in business staring at the sky. How about this? I enjoy doing this. Okay. Almost every day. Usually, after work. Anong pwedeng itagda? Uh, I forget to do this in the morning. Yeah, because I'm rushing. <laughs> I'm always rushing to the office. Okay. But on the way home, on the way home, I take a more, mas mabaga, a more leisurely pace. Pagpawi kasi medyo mas mabag issue. Yeah. Oh man, this would make it a very nice answer. Definitely not a seven. I'm oh, sorry. Definitely not a seven anymore. I won't say nine. Hindi ganun ka kapalang mo ako. But definitely more than seven. Uh, we're not allowed to give exact scores. Kami pong mga humble na teacher ay nananad siya lang. Tinatan siya lang pula. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yan. Yan ang sabihin mo sa test mo. Oh, man. I'm gonna guarantee. That's much better. We have another one. 
Eh. Ah, sky daw. Naku, ang lalim naman nun. Uh, firmament. The firmament. Oh, that's so biblical. It's old language. I wouldn't use it. Atmosphere, depende sa sentence yan. Ha? Kasi just because it's a synonym doesn't mean automatically tama na. Because when examiners grade you, they will not grade the individual words. They grade it within the context of the sentence. Okay? So, horizon. How about horizon? Horizon is actually, you know, looking there, the farthest point that you can see, it's where the land or the sea meets the sky. Yung line na nakikita niyo sa dulo. Habang nasa Boracay kayo at nag-chichi at nag <laughs> at sunset na ganyan. Kung saan nawawala yung araw, yun yung horizon. We have a very good answer here. Okay, heavens. The heavens. Actually, maganda po. The heavens. Okay, imbis na heaven lang. Okay, enjoy looking at the heavens. So, we type that. I love. Okay. Looking, oh, imbis na staring. Okay, or look. Kasi look yung original. Transform it to looking. Pwede naman. Okay, enjoy looking at it. Or at, at the heavens. Especially okay, at sunset. Okay, there's an explosion. Okay, there's an explosion of color. And I feel, you know, I feel happy uh, and nostalgic at the same time. Ayan, pwede na. Okay, pwede na po ito. Why? Because this is just a part one question. Now, if they ask this in part three, okay, I would probably give a longer answer. But since it's only part one, pwede, pwede din ganyan niya. Let me take a look at other answers. Uh -huh. Oh, I like this one. Okay, this one's nice. Tignan nyo tong sagot niya. This one's quite good. Oops, sorry. Let's copy this. Ang sabi ni sir. Yeah, sabi ni sir. Honestly, okay, I don't uh, look at the sky often. Mm -hmm. Unless there's something there that catches my attention, okay, like planes. How do you improve this answer, sir? In business, planes, sabi mo aircraft. Wow, aircraft, bonga. <laughs> okay. That was, I like the fact that you started with honesty. So it gives this is a there's discourse marker. It gives a signal to the examiner na oh, medyo yung sagot ko kakaiba. Okay, you're gonna say something. Okay. Ang problema lang dito maybe yung look at the sky and often because these are words that were in the original question. Okay lang sana if you just use one of them like sky or maybe look or often. But you use all of, you know all three in the same sequence. Ano yan? Makikita na examiner. It's gonna be it's gonna be very obvious. So paano natin improve to? Sabi mo lang honestly I don't get the chance to do this nowadays, yeah, because I have a lot of things on my mind. Nice, nice co-location. I have a lot of things on my mind. Kama, unless there's something that catches my attention. Like, ayan, ang ganda na nung sabi. Okay? Definitely more than a seven. Ayoko ng seven lang. Seven is, ah, seven lang. Ako, kaya nga. Dapat mas mag. Okay, one more, eh? one more. And then I will start entertaining your questions. Kasi gusto ko sa inyo mangga. Okay, here's a third answer. Last one for this question. Sabi niya. I usually look at the sky every night. Okay? Because I always stay at our house back door in the second floor when there's huge space and it's clearer to see stars glistening. So let's correct this one. No, correct po natin. I usually look at the sky every night. Alam nyo, ganito na lang. Sabihin nyo, I enjoy the night sky. Isn't that nice? Or I love, oh, gawin natin na. I love the night sky. Okay, so first, give a direct answer muna para alam mo ka ng examiner. Okay? 
Okay, every night. What do you do every night? I I stay at our house back door. Uh, what is house back door? Mm. Beto na lang. I stay on. Pag floor po, on ang ginagamit natin. Right? You're not inside the floor. You're nakapatong kayo sa floor. You're on the floor. Not, not in the floor. On the floor. Okay? Every night, I, I stay. Ayan. On the second floor. On the second floor where there's a huge space. And it's clearer. Okay, kailangan idea possibly is clear lang po because you're not comparing it to anything. And then, when you say listen, ito yung makintab na basa. Okay? It's it's wet. Alam mo yun? So, for example, if you get some baby oil, then you, a lot of it, you know, put it on your skin, then your skin will be glistened. Or after playing, you know, a hard game of basketball, puro pawis ka, uy, malapit na ako. <laughs> you can say that you're glistening with sweat. Pero stars, they don't listen. What would be a good wording for stars? Clue. Kinakanta nyo to nung bata kayo. Okay. Thank you very much. Twinkly. Yun yung magandang, yun yung kapartner niya. Remember, part, some of these things, they have partner words. May mga kapartner yung mga yan. So I love the night sky. Tapos, imbis na pilot, gawin mo exclamation. I love the night sky. You know, every night or every evening, I stay on the second floor where there's a huge space and it's clear to see stars. Wink. Nice. So I hope okay, I made you happy with those improvements. Good luck, good luck. Kain yan. Let's take a look at your questions now. Oh, wala pa ba? Okay. Oh, very nice, Dior. Tama yung ano, suggestion mo, twinkling. Pareho tayo. Okay. Oh, Abigail. Another nice one. Okay. Shimmering. Pwede rin. Okay. So, guys, would you like to try? Would you like to ask me other questions and uh, I'll give you good answers? Or gusto nyo, <laughs> or gusto nyo ako na lang magtag? Mm -hmm. Nobody prepared questions. Okay. So let me uh, let me do it. Uh, how about this one? Okay, I'm going to teach you some tricks. Huh? What if the examiner asks you this? Is it better to view it at night or during the day? Don't write one. Don't write one. Okay. What do you need? What do you need to change? Una, una, if you can avoid saying better. Okay. Maganda. Ano pa? Don't repeat view as much as possible. How about at night? Ano pwedeng ibalit siya? How about during the day? Ano pwedeng ibalit? Let's start with let's start with during the day. Instead of during the day, okay, ano pwede natin sabihin? You can say in the morning. You can be specific actually. In the morning. Ano pa? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. What else? You can say at sunset. Okay. Or you can say while the sun is out. You can also say daytime. And then it will also you don't actually need to repeat. Okay. You know what you should do? Uh, okay. You should be writing down your answers and then you practice saying them. Because when you write down things on paper, they get implanted more. In your memory, mas tumatatako yan. Okay, I think, I believe, uh, you know, professional belief ko is, uh, writing down answers is very, when your goal is paraphrasing, mas maganda magsulat. And when your goal is correcting your grammar, you can use grammar before that, or you can use uh, Google Docs, it, it gives you suggestions about grammar, wrong spelling, okay? How about that night, ano pwede pa rin dyan sa night? You can say, in the evening, oh, Diba? Oh. At night time. Ang dami. You can also say at dark. 
Okay, you can even say when the sun is out, say gabi na. Right? So you don't need to limit. You're just having a hard time because you, you probably never thought of it, you know, about, about it like this before. Okay, I will say this, this is my job. This is already automatic. Okay, how about yung view? You can say look at, or at least man lang sabi nyo viewing instead of view. Okay, staring at, uh, sobra naman yung staring, maybe gazing. Okay? Gazing at, kasi nga, star gazing. Yun pala yun, no? Gaze. Ang stare kasi gando. Ang gaze, relax lang. How about better? What can you use instead of better? My God, ang dami. Umpisan nyo lang with more. And then put some sort of adjective there. Mas okay. Okay? Tulad ng ano. It's more enjoy. Huh? You can say it's more interesting. Oh, I think. I think the, the power sky is more interesting when the sun is out. Because, you know, you're able to see more of these heavenly bodies like the moon and the stars because uh, the brightness of the sun doesn't interfere with the people. Right? And that's just a simple answer. More enjoyable, more interesting. Right? Yan, magandang isulat sa papel kahit na speaking of this. Okay? But make sure that afterwards, you actually say your answer out loud and that you are recording it and listen to yourself speak. Para naman, check nyo yung pronunciation. Good advice, yeah? I hope you're picking up stuff from that. So, tingnan natin. Uh, oh, here are some difficult questions. Tingnan natin yung mga tao. Sana masabot ko. <laughs> uh, from Sir, ano? Sir Ray. Sir Ray, sagutin natin yung ano mo, yung question mo. There you go. Sabi niya, do you agree do you agree that the fact that children are targeted by many companies as potential cost consumers spoils their childhood? Ay, napakaganda na. Gusto gusto ko ng tanong na ito. It's interesting. Okay? So before I give my own answer, would anybody like to, to try? Uh, by the way, Sir Ray, if I'm not mistaken, this is a part three question, right? So for part three, you need longer answers like I think parang mga uh, four to five sentences yung maganda dyan. If you can do more, pwede. But uh, pwede na yung four. Okay? Do you agree that the fact that children are targeted by many companies as potential consumer spoils there? Okay, tama ako. Thank you, Sir Ray. That's a part three question. Okay? Ano na to? Alam nyo? <laughs> Alam nyo? Ito eh. Another sign that you're doing really well. Kapag gustong gusto ang pigain no ano, ng examiner. Okay? And by the way, you don't need to be a marketing specialist like the pang marketing ano nito, pang marketing specialist. Ano. Diba? Just ko na po. Hindi naman yan ang course natin. Yeah. Yung isang student, tinanong about genetics. Yung isang student, tinanong about graffiti. Yan. Yung isa about, uh, yung isa, uh, the effect of globalization on international so, on multinational companies. Wow. <laughs> Minsan, even if you don't know anything about fashion, pwede pa rin kayo makakuha ng matas na score. Because in the IELTS test, you can actually say that you don't know the answer as long as you still go use good English. As long as you explain nyo. So, pakitaan ko muna kung saan ganito. So, I would probably say, wow. Pwede po, pwede po mag-wow. Ha? Ginagawa niya sa friends niya. Pwede niyo rin gawin sa IELTS. Wow, tapos smile kayo. <laughs> that's really That's really complicated. Okay? Tapos sabi niya, honestly, uh, <laughs> or, oh, tama si honestly na lang. Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea about this. Okay? Because I'm single. I'm single. And I don't, I don't have any kids. Okay. I've never thought about this. Okay. Or I've never thought much 
about uh, marketing concepts. Okay, marketing concepts. Okay, and I studied nursing. Okay, nursing in university. Okay, I'd have, I'd have to do a little research or a little more research. In business, little, sabi nyo, little. As a, yung mga short, mga call center shortcuts. I'd have to do a little bit, little bit, not little bit, little bit, little bit, okay, more research to give you any, you know, any solid thoughts regarding this. Ay, bongga. <laughs> well, that's really complicated. Honestly, I have no idea about this because I'm single. I don't have any kids. I've never thought much about marketing concepts and I studied nursing in university. I think I have to do a little bit more research to give you any solid thoughts okay, regarding this. Yeah. Classic na palusot. Ang maganda po dito sa ginawa ko, what's nice about this answer is you can use this to answer almost any other topic that you're not an expert on. Okay? Edit nyo lang ng konti, of course. Just edit it a little bit. Okay, papalitan nyo ng konti, pero this is a generic answer okay, to those topics that you don't know anything about. Alright? Now, what are my... Uh, meron bang su... So nobody tried to answer it? Okay lang, no problem. Uh, very difficult. No need to answer. Sige lang. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's another one. Uh, is it good or bad for people to have free education? In the future, I think, ano, kahit tanggalin nyo yung in the future dito, kahit tanggalin nyo yung in the future, okay lang. Okay, that's, that's not critical to the question. Ang importante lang dito, is it good, good or bad for people to have free education? And I think the answer is obvious. Okay? So, <laughs> Education, learning, learning is always, okay? If it's not good or bad, you can say beneficial, dangerous, detrimental, helpful. Beneficial is the best one. Learning is always beneficial, okay? To, to anyone, okay? Especially if they can get it or Okay. Uh, I don't think okay, that it can be bad or it can be detrimental para lang ipakita yung range ng vocab ninyo. Unless there's, you know, unless there's corruption or mismanagement. Tapos pwede kayong magbigay ng ano, pwede kayong magbigay ng example if you, if you know one because that's always impressive. You can say, just take a look at Finland. That was our lesson today. Uh, sorry, my lesson with my group last kanina. Just take a look at Finland. Okay? There are no private schools. Oh, wala nga po. There are no private schools. So everyone, so everybody okay, goes to government-funded O, oh, imbis na school, anong pwede kong government-funded schools? Eh, sinabi ko na yung schools eh. How about institutions? O, oh, diba? Impressive. Everybody goes to government-funded institutions. Okay? But they are considered they are considered okay, to have the best education system in the whole world. By the way, this is true, right? You can re you can research it. All right. So is this a good answer? I'll just take a look. Let's take a look at Finland. Okay, pretty good answer. Why? Because it's you know it's a longer answer. Ilang sentences One, two, three, okay, four. It's about four sentences. Tapos ano pa? Maganda yung vocab, okay? Not much repetition. It's using less common, you know, uh, lexical items. Uh, I don't see any major grammar errors. Minsan lang may nakakalimutan ako. 
when I say it, kompleto naman. Now, the only thing that I cannot see here, of course, would be pronunciation. Magagawa ko na lang yan when I listen. Of course, if you speak like this, mababa yung score sa pronunciation, listen. Uh, learning, learning is always beneficial to anyone, especially if they can get it for free. I don't think uh, that it can be detrimental unless there's corruption or mismanagement. Just look at Finland. There are no private schools, so everybody goes to government-funded institutions, but they are considered, uh, considered to have the best education system in the whole world. Siyempre, kung ganun yung pronunciation, naglalaro yan sa band five. Uh, sometimes I, I think sometimes I sound like that when I'm not trying. Okay, but of course, in English, iba na po. Okay? What would be a good pronunciation? Learning is always beneficial to anyone. Hindi kailangan yung learning is always beneficial to anyone. Hindi mo kailangan mahape. Hindi kailangan lang malinaw. Learning is always beneficial to anyone, especially if they can get it for free, right? Everybody loves free. I don't think that it can be detrimental unless, of course, there's corruption or mismanagement. Just take a look at Finland. Napapansin niyo ba, ano? There are changes in tone, volume, there are changes in speed. Kasi, pangit din yung monotonous. Express your emotions. Because sometimes, even with grammar mistakes, like, I think I did it. May grammar mistake on nung last test ko. Or even if you don't use the best words, nadadarihin with, you know, with your speaking voice. Okay, so don't lose hope. Okay, nakukuha sa acting din. <laughs> Tuloy natin. Here's another question. Um, yung mahirap na lang pipiliin ko, some of these questions are, some of these questions medyo madali na lang. Okay. Okay, somebody said here, human intelligence versus computer intelligence. Guys, I need an exact question because, you know, uh, I might say something off topic kung hudaan ko lang question. Okay? All right. Uh, who's more adventurous? Young people or old people? Well, of course, uh, it depends. Uh, there are old people who are also adventurous and there are also young people who are you know, taciturn. We are more laid back. But if we're speaking in general, of course, it's the youth. From this na young people, it's the youth. Okay? Uh, the reason for this is because they haven't had a lot of life experience, so they still want to try things that, that are new to them. You know, they like novelty. Older people, they've been there, they've done that. And they've done that. Another nice piece of language. Good collocation. Uh, what kind of job doesn't require communication? Ah, ang isa sa gupo dito. Ah, you know, I I've been I've been racking my brains, okay, for the past few seconds, and I really can't come up with, you know, with any line of work, okay, that will allow you, you know, not to talk to anyone. Okay, you can argue that, you know, uh, laborers, you know, people who have physical jobs, they don't need to to talk too much, but there should still be communication. Otherwise, how would you know the rules? Okay. There are still supervisors, so I think uh, at the, even at the smallest level, you always need to communicate if you want to succeed in any line of work. Pwede, di ba? Sinabi mo, wala. Pwede ba yun? Oh, yeah. You can say, wala. All types of jobs, they require communication. Pwede, pwede. Next. Oh, that's interesting. So how do you reduce environmental problems in urban areas? Let me give you some ideas on this one. Because the environment is a very, very common topic in the IELTS test. So, ano nga ba yung paraan? How do we reduce? How to reduce environmental problems in urban areas? Kailangan po plural to in urban areas. First of all, we should build more, sabihin nyo to sa examiner, more green spaces, such as public parks. So in public parks, parang common, it's like, all of you know this, di ba? I'm, I'm sure 100% of you in this room right now, you know this. Ito, dagdag nyo. And pocket gardens. Okay? Pocket gardens, be careful with the P. It's not an F. It's a P. Okay? Pocket gardens. So ano pa? Ano pa pwede kadagdag? 
A guy not in Singapore. Yeah. Strict penalties on literate. Okay. Oh, ano pa? Uh, strict laws. Strict laws on garbage disposal. Okay, so ano pa? Can you come up with other answers? Strict penalties. Okay, at syempre, kung wala talaga kayong may set, if you cannot come up with any answer, meron tayong default answer. Education. Pag wala kayong may set, yan lagi ang sagot. Right? Yeah, of course, you need to explain it. But think about it. Think about it. What's one of the best solutions to what? Teenage pregnancy, kunwari. Oh, di ba? Education. How about poverty? Kahirapan. Education. How about the, you know, the COVID problem yeah, or health problems? Education. Because if people knew what to do, then, di ba? Uh, they would act properly without anyone forcing them. Kahit hindi mo sabihing may penalty, gagawin nila yung tama if they are educated people. Di ba? Oh. What's the answer to uh, joblessness? Uh, unity. Ay, hindi. Education pala. So, ibang ano yan. Ibang answer yun. Okay. <laughs> Education. Kung wala kayo may isa. Okay. But of course, if you have other answers, sabihin nyo muna yan. Maybe this can be your last answer. Pang ano lang. Pang push lang. Okay. Oh, so, how to reduce environmental problems? Ano ba? One of the best solutions that I did would be it's to, okay, it's to penalize companies that that do not practice, okay, so that do not apply eco-friendly practices. Yeah. Wow, now that's that's a benign idea. Because the other ideas, sinabi na yun, Sinabi na yun ng ibang candidates, ibang kasama nyo. Pero itong dulo, okay, I've, I've never, honestly, I've never heard this from a student. Itong ganitong lasting sagot. I've heard it from teachers okay, who are training. Penalized companies that do not apply eco-friendly practices. Ano to? High-level answer yan. It's really impressive to your exam. So, minsan hindi lang English. Okay? Konting ano din, you know, knowledge din. Ow, ow, ow. May, mayroong nag-feedback. Don't tell please. Para di masakit. Mm, okay, I think we have time for one. I enjoy doing this. Okay. Okay, sabi ni Richelle, ni actual Ayos, question as a now. Ah, what age do you think a child can start to expect? Oh, yeah. This is an IELTS question. Okay, so, sagutin natin ito. So, hindi na kailangan ng in. So, what age? At, I think, at ito. At what age do you think a child can, uh, can start to... A child tapos there, hindi match dapat children to para plural to. Okay? Can children start to express their opinion? Pwede rin opinions. Okay. Sasabihin ko ganito. Oh. Well, I'll start ako ako. Sasabihin ko. Yeah, that's hard to say. Okay. Uh, it's not a good it's not a good practice to to generalize. Okay. People mature at, yeah, at different rates. Okay, I know, yeah, I know uh, some kids. Tapos, lalagyan ko ng ano, modifier sa gitna. Actually, okay, the daughters, true story po kasi ito, <laughs> the daughters of, uh, the daughters of my friend. Tapos, guys, maganda na dimension ng pangalan. Okay, pero ito, ano lang, inventuin ko lang yung pangalan, the daughters of my friend Julius. Okay? Okay? Who seem, yeah, who seem to be, who seem to be adults. Okay, although, although they're only, okay, three, 
and five years old. Tapos magpapa-impress ako ng konti by adding some nice language. Okay, they're old. They're old beyond their years. So, you know, beyond their years. I level it's fiction. Tapos tutungtungan ko pa. On the other hand, there are people, okay, who never seem to <laughs> too mature, no matter how old they get. Okay? They keep on relying on their parents and they act kind of like spoiled rats. Oh, you spoiled rats? Okay? So this would be my answer to that. Okay, sir, the examiner interrupted the examiner because she gave her personal experience. Oh, because this question is actually, okay, a general question. Pero hindi naman bawal magbigay ng ano, ng personal experience. Ang gawin niyo muna, you answer it the way that the examiner asked it. So it was asked as a general question. And it's a good thing you know. Well, that's hard to say. It's not a good practice to generalize. People mature at different rates. So there, that's the general question. And then, pag hindi pa nag interrupt yung examiner, you can follow up, okay, uh, using an example to illustrate that concept. Pero yung friend mo kasi, baka naman sinabi niya, in my experience, baka naman, oh, my children. Of course, if you start with a personal uh, answer, Medyo off na yun kasi tingnan nyo yung tanong. Okay? So guys, be careful now in part 3. Okay, most of the time, they don't focus on you anymore. Okay, so part 1 kasi it's always you. What do you, what do you like? What do you like? What do you like? Tell me about your work. Do you have pets? Pero sa part 3, ina-expand nila yung language to include, okay, your surroundings, okay, society in general. Okay? So, yeah, I think uh, that's all the time for today. So, I hope Meju, I know, Lumino siya. No? I'm hoping that uh, you'll be able to use some of these. So, advice lang po. It's always nice to write down things. Even though it's a speaking test, makakatulong din po talaga yung, ano, yung pagsusulat. Right? Basta practice niyo how to say it afterwards. Right? Also, maybe you can prepare. Okay, you can prepare answers. Di ba meron kayong ano? Every few days, you have a speaking uh, a practice group dito sa IFNG. So instead of waiting for that, maybe pwede na prepare. Okay, para sulit yung, ano, sulit yung conversation. So anyway, konting to vote, right? Uh, if you still have um, questions, type it up. And I'll still answer it. So, why choose World English, my company? Because... Okay lang, uh, ang dami ng materials online, listening, reading. But really, when you're talking about speaking and writing, yun, ang hirap is self-review niya. You cannot judge your own outputs. Okay? Especially if you're reviewing for the higher levels, pandang 6.5, 7. Okay? Yung 6, honestly, sa tingin ko, madali lang. Pero yung mas matas sa 6 o 7, you really need the feedback of an expert. Okay? You have access to our teachers. Mapipili niyo po. Okay? Just log in doon sa, ano, doon sa LMS yung tawag namin, our management system, learning management system. You can choose the schedule and the teacher. Um, we're a small company. Hindi po kami, hindi po kami <laughs> malaki. Okay? Tapos, pero ano, we're really highly uh, trusted. Uh, you can ask British Council about us. Okay? We've been working and IBP also we've been working with them since our birth, since our inception. Okay? And ano po, more on word of mouth kami. Okay? We don't employ a factory approach. A factory approach. You know the technique I showed you today? That's how I do it with my students. Okay? Some of our sessions, of course, we do a mock test. Pero pag medyo may yung student, I actually sit down with them and work on answers. One by one, really. Question by question, mistake by mistake. Yung pong one-on-one -on -one sessions namin are 50 to 55 minutes long. O bago kayo mag-review sa center kasi sinasabi ng iba, ah, may one-on-one -on -one session din kami. But if the one-on-one -on -one is just 15 minutes, I don't think, ako as a veteran teacher, I don't think I'll be able to teach you effectively in 15 minutes. Magmamadali lang yung teacher, ah, sir, I need to go, I have a next class. Kami po, 55 minutes, 
Okay? Minsan may lumalampas pa ako. <laughs> yung problema. Okay? We provide daily guidance. We have, uh, you know, a secret FB page, okay, where we share answers, materials, where we share our lectures. Okay? Because if you cannot attend, nire-record po namin yung lectures. And, hi, Sir Rich, Richel, ah, ma'am? Ma'am Richel, me? Okay. Oh, yan, ha? Hindi ako nagsabi, ha? Sabi ni Richel, me, yes. Sabi daw, 20 minutes lang yung one-on-one. -on -one. And then, ayaw basahin niyo output. Ba't pa kayo nagpawan ng one? Eh, di sana nag-attend na lang kayo ng ano. Diba? Kung ganyan lang tuturo sa inyo, manood na lang kayo sa YouTube. Um, uh, Sir Ray, ano, medyo, kung personal tutorial yung inanap mo, medyo, ano, medyo expensive ako. Pero, just contact these numbers kasi it's actually cheaper to enroll in the group, sorry, in the, uh, in the group lectures. Yung pong group lectures namin, okay, may kasama ng eight sessions ng one-on-one. -on -one. That's eight hours. Hindi 20 minutes. Okay, that's eight hours of one-on-one -on -one, depending on the package that you choose. Meron din kami na four hours ng one-on-one. -on -one, pero maganda yung eight. Okay? Uh, I recommend that you enroll through World English because if it's personal, I tend to charge, you know, more than that. Pero yun nga lang, sulit kasi kayo lang yung studyante. Okay, yeah, Richel, me, I, you're not the first one. We actually get a lot of transfers from the big review centers. Hindi lang ikaw yung naka-experience niya. Kasi yung one-on-one, -on -one, that's where you learn, right? Okay, if, just, if they're just gonna talk to you for 15 minutes and not check your outputs, doon na lang kayo sa libre. YouTube na lang kayo. Dami na mga, dami na mga magandang resources. No? And Ray, if you're really interested, message me na lang sa, sa Facebook. Okay? I'll give you a discount. Uh, oh, yeah. Hindi lang po ako uh, nagsasabi na number one kami, number one kami. Because isipin nyo, lahat na lang ng review center number one. Diba? Sige, kami na lang yung number two. <laughs> We've been recognized by British Council for a long time, since 2010. Okay, and I'm surprised. We actually got number three nationwide. Nasa hindi ko lang ako kasi business has been difficult because of the pandemic. Nag number three ka. Thank you, British Council. And we actually got number one in Pampano, which is, you know, that's the touching award for me. Bakit? Kasi ibig sabihin, you know, kabalin namin to mga to eh. Okay? We all we were also recognized by IDP. There you go. My promo po kami. Ask our staff about our promos. I actually wrote the uh, books, no? Writing task one and writing task two, not copied from the Cambridge books. No, these are my own outputs. Okay. I usually get eight point five in writing. So, gusto niyo ba nine? Pwede ng eight point five. Ayan. So I collected my outputs, my work. And uh, if you want to purchase, kaysa mag-isip kayo, ayan po. Okay, we're giving a discount on the intensive reviews. 500 peso discount. Sabihin nyo lang kay Ma'am Say. Sabihin nyo, IFNG. Okay, alam na nyo yun. No, Ma'am Say, alam mo na yun. Ma'am Cha. Okay? Alam nyo na. Yes, po, sir. <laughs> Sige. Para di ko na-explain. We also teach OET, which I like teaching more than I else because this is a fun test for me. I like the medical stuff even though the ako nurse, okay? Uh, study the BS Biology. So, medyo may alam ako ng konti lang naman. Not as much as you guys, pero yung enough for getting a good grade sa so OET, okay? This is our main IELTS page, World English Reviews. Okay, and thank you for supporting our free class. Guys, before we end, uh, I hope, okay, that you pass your test on the first try. I hope that you become successful okay and i hope you give back to the country because our country you know needs all the help that all the help that you know it can get because for well you know what's happening recently everyone's fighting no okay yun lang po okay maraming salamat and gusto ko lang sabihin i'm in solidarity okay with the other top IELTS teachers in this country. You know who I'm referring to. Tignan nyo lang yung IFNG page. Okay? Maraming salamat po. I hope you do well. Thank you very much. Sir, uh, sir, ano? <laughs> sir Jeff, ikaw na. <laughs>
Sir, Sir, Sir Manuel po to. <laughs> Hi! Kanina, kanina, Sir, Sir Manny, okay. na-miss kita. Hi. Gusto ko yung headphones mo. Ah. Ganda I, na po yung headphones. Thank you! Oo. Oh, <laughs> Nariliwanag ang ano, kinabukasan sa headphones. <laughs> Alright. Um, thank you so much. Okay, yeah. We're not gonna say we're not, we're apolitical here at IFNG, mm. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. we understand yeah. we understand what you mean. But oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah <you know. laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for such an informative and Aye, uh, enlightening experience yes. for our members. Um, we love you guys from World English, and we welcome you again for our next uh, next session. Okay. And anyway, thank you so much, guys, for attending. Stay safe. Again. Bye-bye. our uh, um, lecture with Sir Lee.